Toyota is known as a manufacturer of quality cars. This reputation is largely due to reliable and efficient engines. Ask any car enthusiast which company makes the most reliable cars and you'll get the same answer. Toyota, a huge number of cars built by the Japanese automaker two or three decades ago are still in operation. Toyota power units have gained great popularity in the Japanese and global markets. The demand for engines is due to their high reliability, long lifespan, innovation, and excellent dynamic performance. Many engines of the brand are considered millionaires. The produced internal combustion engines are installed at the factory on cars of the brands Toyota, Lexus, and Daihatsu. Engines often find a second life in commercial vehicles and among tuning enthusiasts, but which Toyota engine is the best? We will try to figure this out. So, you are on the Uptostery channel, and these are the best Toyota engines in the company's history. Let's go! The best reward for our work is your activity, likes, reposts, and comments. Be sure to watch this video to the end, it will help promote our channel. And we begin. When it comes to reliability, a multi-cylinder engine will always have an advantage. For example, the 4-liter-1 UZFA, which was produced from 1989 and installed on such legendary models as the Lexus LS400, Toyota Crown, and Soarer. This 8-cylinder engine had a rather interesting design with a clear focus on motorsport. It received aluminum cylinder blocks, pistons, and cylinder heads. Moreover, the latter was made according to a dual-shaft scheme with four valves per cylinder. The crank shaft had as many as five main bearings, and the timing and auxiliary equipment drive was carried out by a tooth belt. At the start of production, the engine produced 256 GP and 353 nanometers of torque. In 1995, the engine was upgraded, and its power increased to 261 GP, and the torque increased to 365 nanometers. Two years later, engineers equipped the engine with a VBTI system and slightly increased the compression ratio. As a result, the power of the 1 UZFE was 290 GP and 407 nanometers of torque. The engine was produced until 2002, but motors 2UZ and 3UZ were created based on it. The latter was successfully produced until 2013. With proper care, the 1UZFE serves reliably for 500,000 km or more. The 4AGE engine went into production in 1983. This engine was equipped with the legendary Drift Queen Hachiroku AE86 and later other sports models of the Toyota Corolla. The engine had an innovative 16-valve cylinder head, which gave the engine high power and a lively character. The engine was constantly upgraded and produced for 17 years. Initially, it developed 120 GP and 149 nanometers of torque. Jeez. By the end of production in 2000, its power increased to 165 GP and 210 nanometers of torque. Eh? The 4AGE is a very reliable engine. It easily withstands boosting up to 200 GP and serves for 250,000 kilometers or more. This is without exaggeration one of the best creations of Toyota, Type F. This engine earned the epithet Eternal. Yes, it became outdated two decades ago, but in terms of reliability, it has no equal to this day. The Toyota Type F engine was produced from 1949 to 1979, and if you consider the engines of the next series 2F and 3F built on its basis, then 43 years. And if you dig into the history of this engine, you can find that it is a direct relative of the pre-war American inline 6's Chevrolet series 235. The secret of this engine's success is its its enormous margin of safety. The low boost, only 105 GP, 3.9 liter engine had a cast iron cylinder block, a single camshaft, and a chain driven timing mechanism. In addition, the low compression ratio of 6.4, one made this engine immune to low quality fuel. The Type F began its long life under the hood of the four ton Toyota BM truck. Subsequently, it worked on many models of the Japanese company, including the legendary Land Cruiser 20 and 40 series. Everywhere it showed itself exclusively from the good side and ran for 500. 700,000 km the 1 GZFA is the first and last V12 engine of Japanese production. Its sole task was to drive the company's flagship, the Toyota Century. This car was built specifically for the comfortable transportation of important persons and was sold only in Japan. When developing the 1 GZFE, the designers prioritized reliability and smooth operation. As a result, the engine's power is not impressive, only 276 GP, however the locomotive torque of 400 nm 
nanometers is available from 1,200 revolutions per minute, and the peak 481 nanometers is reached at 4,000 revolutions per minute. The 5 liter engine had an aluminum cylinder block and a dual shaft 48 valve aluminum cylinder head with a VVTi system. For added reliability, each cylinder bank received its own electronic control unit and could operate independently. Overall, the 1GZFE engine became more of an image story, demonstrating that Toyota can produce such engines. The third generation Century already uses the 8-cylinder 2 URFSC. Nevertheless, the 1GZFA is a very worthy engine, in some ways even exclusive. The list of the best Toyota engines could not do without these inline sixes, 1JZ GTE and 2JZ GTE. The JZs have become favorite engines among tuners for their incredible tuning potential. Enthusiasts easily get 500 to 700 GP from the engine without significantly sacrificing reliability. But this is far from the limit. With the proper level of modifications, the engines can produce 1,000 or even more horsepower. The standard 2.5 liter 1JZ GTE was produced from 1990 and delivered 280 GP and 363 nanometers of torque. The engine had a cast iron cylinder block, an aluminum 24 valve cylinder head with a belt drive, and two CT12A turbochargers. The design is extremely reliable, capable of serving 400,000 km or more with proper care. The 1JZ GTE was installed in cars such as the Toyota Mark II, Soarer, Crown, Supra, and others. The engine production ended in 2006 after the introduction of new environmental standards. The 2JZ GTE engine is structurally similar to the 1JZ GTE. GTE. However, it had an original 3-liter cylinder block with an increased height of 14.5 M. In the factory version, the engine still produced 280 GP, but the torque increased to 432 nanometers. Like its counterpart, the 2JZ had a significant potential for performance enhancement and high reliability. The engine production was discontinued in 2002. The 2-liter 3S GTE is something like the JZ, only with four cylinders. The engine was installed in such iconic models as the Toyota MR2 and Celica. The turbocharged 3 SGTE went into production in 1986. Like the naturally aspirated 3 SGE, it received a cast iron cylinder block and an aluminum cylinder head. The engine featured a very competent design with a high margin of safety. For example, the five bearing crankshaft with counterweights had holes for additional oil supply to the main and connecting rod bearings, which had a very positive effect on the reliability of the crank mechanism. Like the early series 4 for AGE, the 3S GTE was equipped with a 16-valve cylinder head and a T-Viz variable intake system. Combined with the CT26 turbocharger, this allowed the engine to produce 185 GP and 258 nanometers of torque without any problems. Subsequently, the engine was repeatedly upgraded, and by the end of production in 2007, it had an output of 256 GP and 324 nanometers. Engineers managed to get 128 GP per liter of displacement while maintaining a very decent level of durability. With proper maintenance, the 3S GTE can easily run 400,000 km without major repairs. Along with the 4A series, the Toyota 3S engines are among the best Toyota engines in history. Which engine is missing from this list? Write in the comments below this video, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss interesting videos.